Introducing the animal some say is most likely to eat a human. Saltwater crocodiles are the world's largest living crocodilians, and the largest reptile too. Perhaps for good reason, they have a fearsome reputation. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. The size of the head. Oh. But there's far more to these ancient apex predators than meets the eye. In this episode of Deep Blue Discovery, we'll head both inland and far out to sea to find out more about the creature with the strongest bite in the animal kingdom. This is Deep Blue Discovery. Given their name, you might think saltwater crocodiles are beach-based beasts. But while they can be found surfing the waves far out to sea, they're perfectly happy inland too, including in fresh water. Australia's Northern Territory The first thing you need to know about saltwater crocodiles is that they eat just about anything, including their smaller freshwater cousins. This one is nearly 5 meters long, and it's chowing down on a 3 meter freshwater crocodile. Cannibalism caught on camera not far from the city of Darwin. When it comes to salties, crocodile cannibalism isn't uncommon. Here's another example in the Mary River, an estimated 5 meter killer, its victim around 3. Oh my god. Oh, the size of the head. Oh. Oh. <laughs> These incredible creatures aren't picky about what they eat because they're what's known as opportunistic predators. <laughs> this footage was captured in Kununurra, Western Australia, and even though the would-be prey is a drone on this occasion, it illustrates the Salty's hunting style well. Saltwater crocodiles don't need much food, but when they're peckish, they can lie in wait for more than an hour before lashing out when something they can eat wanders into range. They can breathe underwater because a valve in their throat closes as soon as they're submerged. When humans get bitten or killed, it's often when they're entering the water. Of course, attacks are extremely unusual. This footage shows just how uninterested toothy reptiles really are in human beings. That's not to say saltwater crocodiles aren't dangerous. Superficially speaking, they're basically dinosaurs built to kill. That's why this croc spotter drone was invented, to stop people becoming prey in far north Queensland, Australia. The croc spotter uses AI to identify saltwater crocs and has a 93% success rate. To put that in perspective, the naked eye is only accurate 17% of the time. Salties are responsible for at least a few dozen attacks on people every year. Sometimes it happens at places like this, Kakadu National Park in Australia, famous for its crocodile crossings. This drone footage shows just how close large numbers of man-eaters get to the road. In 2017, a 47-year-old man was reportedly killed at Cahill's Crossing in West Arnhem. Popular at the time with tourists, as you can hear, Jeez, he's big, isn't he? the river is full of salties. And while crossing is safe while the water is low, the fast flowing current sometimes makes it risky. There are plenty of warnings in the area, and the site is well known. Any attempt to cross by foot is seen as foolish. Oh, here we go. 
If you want to wrangle these reptiles, you better be brave. Meet Danish crocodile Dundee Niels Jensen. Based in the Northern Territory and using a wallaby carcass to coax a croc towards him, he knows how to handle salties. But the local wildlife commission weren't amused by this video. They reportedly said Niels was dicing with death. And given the salty was 650 kilos, Niels completely agreed with them. Can I? <laughs> All right, get off him before you get eaten. <laughs> This is how people normally respond when they encounter one of these stealthy hunters. This happened in Arakun, Queensland, and the children on the riverbank are using everything they can to keep the croc at bay. You can see how fast they can travel in short bursts too. Some have been clocked swimming at 18 miles per hour. As we've discovered, these reptiles are more than happy in coastal rivers and even further inland, but they've also been observed far out to sea. Here they are sharing the waves with a lemon shark. Why you find them out this far is actually simple. They're opportunistic hunters, and there's a lot of good food in the ocean. The man who filmed this footage off Australia's Kimberley coast has been catching marine wildlife on camera for decades, and he had only seen this once before in his life, tiger sharks sharing a meal with saltwater crocodiles. What's interesting here is that salties don't tend to be on the shark's menu, but sharks are very much fair game for these big beasts. These impressive giants have few natural predators, but for a long time they were hunted by people. By the 1960s they were very close to being extinct, but Thanks to conservation efforts, they survived and are now thriving in some parts of the world. They're doing particularly well in Australia, where officials tend to ask people to keep away from salty habitats. That's partly because they can be very dangerous, but it's important their reputation as man-eaters isn't overstated. They aren't really interested in humans, but they are territorial, and the larger males do sometimes decide that people are food. Oh! Oh my god, he's amazing! With 13 centimeter teeth and the most powerful bite in nature, if one of these decides your food and you're in range, it's not going to end well. All right, get off him before you get eaten. <laughs> Fortunately, this rarely happens, and I think we can all agree saltwater crocodiles are truly incredible creatures. Thanks for watching Deep Blue Discovery. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. We'll be back next week to showcase more incredible creatures.